For our bunny rabbit vase, we use four balloons. I've got a white 160 inflated, leaving just a tiny little bit in the end there, just enough to tie it in a loop in a moment. I've got three white 260s, one with about an inch and a half tail, one with about a two and a half inch tail, and then one with about a four inch tail. We're going to start with our shortest, about a four inch tail. I'm going to take and make a little tiny, about a half inch level, and make that into a pinch twist. And you're going to make about a two and a half inch level, another half inch level, and again into a pinch twist. And we're going to come back out along the level there, we'll be one of the same size as that. Just sitting with that first pinch twist. And then come back along it one more time, same size again, to the end of that pinch twist. Now we're going to go up and make about a two inch level, a half inch level, make that into a pinch twist, another half inch level, and throw it into a pinch twist as well. And then come back down along with another bubble the same size as this one here. This is the beginning of our bunny rabbit's head. Just like that. Now we're going to come down. And then what we want to do is try to get this into thirds. So figure out about where thirds is going to be with a little bit left over for your tail. Once you've figured that out, make a basic three level row through, so you'll make two bubbles, and then with what's left, make a little bubble on the end, roll it through, so you've got just a tiny little bit sticking out the back for your rabbit's little tail. Now we're going to take our 160 and just tie it into a large loop by tying the two ends together. You want to find the midway point of that loop, twist it into two equal bubbles, and then bring that together to make two large loops. Now come up with going to be the top of our rabbit's head here where you've got the double pinch twist. Twist that into the base, take one of them all the way around, and then you want to position your ear twist. This is going to be the nose of your rabbit, that three bubble row through that we started with. That'll be his nose. So you want to position your two pinch twists on top of his head, so one's in the front, one's in the back, and then bring your little 160 so that one part of each loop comes up into that pinch twist like that, so your ears will sit that way. And then you can shape them however you like. I'll usually find a point about a little less more than a third here and kind of give that a squeeze. And then do the same on this side. Just shape it like that. Give him some really cute bunny rabbit ears. Now we're going to take of our two remaining 260s, the one that was slightly longer, had about a two and a half inch tail on it. Make about a one inch level, a half inch level, make that into a pinch twist. Then we're going to make a little small about a three inch fold twist here, like that. Squeeze it to force it the other end. Now from the other end, you make about a one inch bubble, and then another three inch fold twist, the same size as the first one we just made. Now you're going to find the middle of this bubble, twist it into two, those will be his arms, and then come in at the base of his neck, bring them around, and cross them over, and then twist the ends together a little bit. Put it now, so we have a bunny rabbit with some really long, cute arms. This guy can hold a lot of flowers. Like that. Now we're going to make his legs. Take our last 216. And what we're going to do with it is you're going to make a larger loop twist, about a six or seven inch bubble. Make a big loop. And then make a about half inch bubble. And a pinch twist at the base of it for a large bunny rabbit foot. Squeeze the ear out towards the end of the other one so that you just have a little bit of a nipple to grab. Make another large loop twist. You want to be roughly the same size as this one. Twist your bubble, grab that nipple end, 
twist it around a couple of times and make another little half inch bubble. Make that into a pink twist as well. And then find the midway point, twist it together, and then come at the base where your bunny rabbit's tail is. And secure that in there. These will be your two feet. Shape your knees in like that. And then get your bunny rabbit to sit straight for you. He's going to want to fall back right now. But once you put the weight of your flowers inside his arms here, that will help hold him down. Let's put a little face on him so you can see what we've got here. This would be his mouth. Some big buck teeth. Some whiskers here on either side of his nose. And his eyes up here. He's kind of freaky looking, isn't he? And there's your little bunny rabbit. And see, so he's not going to sit real well until you put your flowers in, and they'll balance him around so he'll sit up a little bit better.